Um, your PSSM, reducing the amount of starch and sugar in a horse's diet with PSSM is the most effective way to stop episodes of tying up. So these guys you're basically feeding, again, like a laminitic horse. So using low sugar, low starch forages as the base of the diet. Same thing applies. Um, I've had horses in Victoria tying up just on pasture because there's so much sugar and um, starch in the pasture that they're actually getting enough to make them tie up on pasture. And there's a study that's published in the US that shows that um, you can actually cause tying up in, in these PSSM horses if you give them forages that are too high in sugar and starch. Um, don't feed ever any cereal grain or grain byproduct to these guys. So same list um, that we went through previously um, to avoid. Use additional oil and high energy fibres to add additional calories to the diet when needed. So often PSSM horses are really good doers um, and, and you do occasionally see people going, oh, but they said to add oil to the diet because that helps with the tying up and the horse is just going, getting really, really fat because it's being fed all this oil. Don't feed oil unless you need to feed the oil for the calories um, and, then it, and then it becomes a really useful force of, source of energy. Um, this is the same rule for all diets, but particularly important for PSSM horses is making sure all vitamin and mineral requirements are met. And again, paying particular attention to the antioxidants, vitamin E and selenium, and your electrolyte minerals, because they're important for protecting the muscles and, and having them function properly. Again, the Easy Feed Selector will tailor a diet for a PSSM horse, um, and it'll only ever use Easy Sport. Um, and sometimes in combination with Easy Fibre and oil, depending on how many calories the horse needs for them. Um, I have heard people say horses with tying up, this PSSM form of tying up, so um, you know warm bloods and um, horses that you want to work quite hard are um, incapable of working and competing at a high level. That is rubbish. <laughs> they can. So this, um, I don't know how, how she's going now. Have you kept up with her, Sammy? Have you kept up with this horse? Uh, <laughs> she bastard sleeping up the back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, this this little girl, she was she was young last year, and her trainer um, her trainer called me and said she is tying up so so badly, like she was crippled tying up. She could barely move, and her CK levels were through the roof. Um, and we ended up putting her on Easy Sport. Um, and because she was working quite hard, we risked it and put her on some rebuild as well, which does have some starch in it, but um, she needed a little bit extra, but she was working hard enough she can handle it, and she ended up winning in Group 1 race. So, I mean, it was pretty... She's going really well still. Still? And she's going well. <laughs> 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 I didn't know it was Mark Lee. Yeah, that's Mark, is it? Yeah. 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 So she's got her on um, a bit of stamina as well now, too. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. She's going really well. All right. Um, this horse, does anyone know him? He's my favourite horse because he's so cute. <laughs> it's not a very good yeah, reason to have his favourite horse, but he's so he's beautiful, Django. Um, but years and years ago, so he's only a pretty young horse, um, he was so lazy. <laughs> Poor Jeremy would be like, come on, Django. He just didn't want to do anything. Um, and, I, and he called Peter Pride, and Peter's like, oh, we'll feed him a bit more extruded barley. I'm like, oh, no, no wrong advice. And so Django got really fat, and he was still really, really lazy. Um, and then eventually they asked me what they should do with him. I'm like, oh, let's just put him on easy sport. So we cut his feed right back, um, and he was on easy sport. And this guy's been sound and working beautifully um, for years now. And he doesn't have that, you know, often these big Frisians get that horrible big crested neck that eventually flops over and stuff. He hasn't had that happen to him yet. Um, and hopefully hopefully he doesn't. So, I mean, he, you know, he's a horse that's working and performing at a pretty high level. Um, and he's, he's likely, he's never been genetically tested for it, but likely um, tying up.